Uh, hi, my name's Nate. Um, I am the middle child of three siblings, uh, Amy, uh, myself, and then my brother, Matt. Me and my brother, Matt, we're always super close, um, being only a, a year apart, basically. Uh, always really competitive with each other, always hanging out with each other. Um, a lot of fond memories that um, even my dad, he would record us all the time and I always love just like looking back at those. And then going into high school, uh, I started to notice like a big change. Um, he really just started distancing himself like from the family and uh, you know, it was never, I never felt like close with him. We would trade words that like, I just can't even, like I don't even want to think about like things that were said to each other because it really like just hurt um, some of the fights and some of the things that we said to each other. And it just like blew my mind that like we would become this distant as brothers. And sometimes it became so much that I like didn't really like I kind of just pushed it away like yeah whatever and at times I never really knew like what he was struggling with. I guess like I would have sleepless nights um, like anxiety attacks there'd be days where I would just want to skip school and lay in bed all day I wouldn't want to hang out with anyone I just want to distance myself um, I would be rude to all my family like no matter how nice my mom or dad would treat me, I would just kind of resent them. And there was a time in my life where I definitely felt like I pushed my brother away who has always been really close. And I was just always in that awful state of just being really crappy to them, like really rude to them. Um, Matt like never really became like a thought in my head in terms of like inviting him to church because I was like oh he's my brother like he's family like that's that's like just not it's not a good one it's not a good person to try to bring then there was a Soma night where uh, there was this video that we watched about just inviting people to church and it just had this profound impact on me because I had already been thinking about this stuff and then I just remember like sitting there and Sammy was speaking and like I felt God just like <laughs> I felt God just like push into my life and say that I was so worried about uh, that I didn't know like where my brother's faith stood and that he was my own brother and I don't even know if he's gonna go to heaven and things like that and it really hit me hard. And I just broke down like as I'm doing right now and uh, I had so many people pray over me and I just felt the power of God. And I just knew like there were a lot of good things happening. And so I wrote his name on the wall and I felt really happy that like I did that and I just had a good feeling. And I had been inviting Matt to church uh, like at least five weeks before this, like, hey Matt, you should come with me and Chloe. It's a really fun church and stuff like that. I still felt like an emptiness or a void, like something was missing. And so then um, my brother would ask me a lot, like, hey, come to Soma City. When I finally decided to go to church, I went to Soma and my first day there, I felt so welcomed, I had people coming up and saying hi to me and I knew like it was because they knew Nate and they knew I was his brother and they were just excited to see me there. I guess as I kept as I kept attending Soma every service 
I just felt my life filling up. I felt that emptiness going away. So I had been praying for Matt and I was just kind of waiting for an answer from God. And uh, after that Soma night, I could just sense that like so many people praying for Matt and just turned it from like a zero to 60 moment. And I could just feel that God was moving in Matt's life and just really, uh, I could feel his presence like in Matt's life. And it was just almost like a 180 change. I guess I, I felt like I was um, unlovable in a sense. Like I wasn't, um, I wasn't wanted by anyone. I wasn't really that important to anyone. Like I was just kind of there, like filling a void, I guess. Now finally having Jesus in my life and living through me, I've realized that thoughts are only thoughts and they can be combated through him. I realized that people really do love and care for me and I now see that my life has purpose.